Hi, I'm Rob and it's Guild Wars War 4. Today it's North Star versus Dark Werble. Right, we are a very new guild, only effectively been together like a couple of weeks. We are looking for a couple of new players. If you fancy a change in guild, then North Star has a few spaces right now. Guild is open. If you're level 1000 or above and can meet some easy requirements, then why not pop over? Some really cool players in our team. Right, so first opponent is Dark Werble and Quashai 1988. Right, I'm going to do this as a bit of an experiment because we are in a low bracket at the moment. We're going to fly up the brackets really, really fast though. So it's only going to be a few Guild Wars before we're up into the better, tastier battles. But we have to fight these opponents at first. But I'm going to use it as a chance to experiment with a team like this and see how well a team like this scores. I know not everybody can use a Diamantina team or a double Diamantina team. But um, even one is still going to be really effective. And if you don't have a second Diamantina, you can chuck in a, uh, a Gem Dragon. Whichever one you like. Um, what, like Ruby Wrath or whatever, Emeraldrin. Whichever one you've got. Preferably one that doesn't mana block a Star Flower on the colours. But um, yeah, I'm going to use it as a, a bit of a experiment. Because the Wonder Stars, choose one. Create six Elemental Stars, bless all allies, or create seven Umbral Stars and curse all enemies. Really, really good weapon. Absolutely love it. Going to be in Geomancer for this because I want a 50% start on the weapon. It does cost 18 to get charged, so we're going to be halfway there absolutely straight away. And Champion Talons, I'll go for Impact. Don't think the second one was relevant. Anti Magic Sphere, Attack, Titian, Rock Solid, Tree of Knowledge, and Fortitude. Banner for this, I went for just a plus two yellow, plus one purple uh, banner to aid Starflower, if it ever got to that point, which I hope it doesn't. But anyway, right, let's um, crack on. The idea of this is we're just going to literally get the Wonder Stars up and then cast Wonder Stars. I mean, you can swap Star Flower for Leprechaun on Purple Day. The cool thing about this team is these three troops are going to work on literally any colour of Guild Wars Day, which is kind of bonkers. And then you can just have a fourth troop of, uh, of your fancy. All right, so let's dive in. This is just an experimental day. I just want to see what this sort of team scores, really. Right, but we are looking for any kind of double mana drop. Anything that gets us two lots of mana at once is going to fill up our Wonder Stars really quickly. All right, so we are ready next round. Oh, I should have put on a um, Medal of Arnu. That was a little bit clumsy. Give myself a 20% uh, head start. On the old manor. Alright, let's cast the old one. We'll do it on the first option. Didn't work too great then. It's, it can it can fail, that thing. It's not, you know, as foolproof as it sounds sometimes when you get a cast of it and it just goes wrong. It's not the greatest thing in the world ever. Let's do that elemental stuff, see if we get anything from that. Not really. See, if this was against a harder team, this would be a risky thing to be doing straight away because, yeah, Wonder Stars is not actually doing so fantastic right now. You do have to select the first, op the correct option sometimes. But, um, yeah, I'm going to change. I'm going to put a Medal of Arnie one. Should have done that in the first place. Right, let's swap them medals around quick. Right, battle two. All right, the first battle was uh, 3,250 points. I think I forgot to look at the score. Right, so Sonya is the second opponent. Then we have Chrysound, Amaru, Zinniao, and Claw Dancer. So no real threat here again. Nothing about to kill us instantly or anything like that. Right, let's uh, try this again. I mean, if one of the stars goes nuts straight away with charging up our star flower, I mean, really, you can have a leprechaun at the bottom on on this team. All right, there's a lot of our colours here for this first cast. So let's see if this works better this time. And it did didn't quite get our diamantina up, but we can do it again. I mean, on Guild Wars, Guild Wars days, the good thing about it, this is you're going to get a lot of skull damage. Let's do it with skull damage. As well as a lot of mana collection. That is 
you know, the mana collection particularly is one of the things which scores you decent points in Guild Wars. That was 1,416 Guild Wars points. So yeah, I'm going to use these early low bracket easier battles to um, maybe experiment with a couple of teams. Just see how well they score. Just out of interest. More dangerous team this one. 7,688 points. Mang eliminates all armor from an enemy. Deals 15 damage in this instance and then gains attack equal to the armor eliminated of course queen bee can just keep on looping indefinitely if she's in a bad mood and uh, got to be careful of her but we should be okay famous last words i was thinking about changing to leprechaun just to get that super fast start but we got a really nice match here this is going to get the weapon up absolutely straight away not a load of yellow and purple there, so the first option is the one to go for on this. Let's put our diamond Tina up. That will do the job. So yeah, not um, the most tactical Guild Wars day, has to be said. But um, a good experiment, just to see how well, or how well it doesn't, a team like this score. We shall see. Tinny Coco, Cocoa 9. Slayer Ghost. Deals 18 damage in this case to the weakest enemy. Transform all skulls to Doom Skulls. Nobin Brothers. Gain an extra turn and either eliminate attack from all enemies or deal 11 damage to all enemies or explode 11 gems. Summoner. Life to all allies. Summons a Bone Daemon. And Unicorn cleanses enchants and gives an ally 12 life. I mean, one thing to newer players is um, I would always have a hero in the team. Some of the hero champion talents can be an absolute game changer, even if it's just something like um, Death Knight, whatever it is, where you can have a, a death mark just straight away. That's, that, that can just change the game straight away. Just get a little bit lucky with a death mark, for example. Or if you're newer to the game, <coughs> excuse me, maybe, you know, the players don't aren't too bothered at the moment because until they build themselves up but any troops have a percentage chance of a devour as well chuck them in there if you've got a kraken something like that chuck it in there you never know when you might get lucky that's part of what guild wars is all about i've got a lovely start on the yellow there which is rather nice let's cast the first option diamantina is good to go and that is the job done. So we've done that on the minimum amount of turns basically. That was 1680 Guild Wars points. And of course you collect a lot of mana at the same time, which is cool. And Madrala is the Paragon. We have Mang, Humility, Justice, Eurali. 14 true damage to all enemies boosted by Naga and undead. Summon a bone Naga. Justice creates 15 gems and a mix of a mix of blue and a chosen type. Give eight life and attack to all other allies boosted by frozen enemies. You should use, use this troop a lot in the early days. Remember using them a lot. They were good. Any old humility troops like that. Good stuff. All right, Mang's there again. Right, so here we go. Looking for any kind of double drop from anywhere. Probably is one somewhere, but again, not too concerned on looking around for ages on a double drop. Double drop, I mean like um, two lots of colors. You take one match, which you can see it clearly drops down to give you a match on another one. And in fact, I've got one here. This red one here gives me a green at the same time. That more than likely gets your weapon up. First option usually generates stacks of mana. They got one turn. And that is it. So, like I say, an experimental day. This is not meant to be a masterclass in strategy. <laughs> this is um, an experiment to see how well a team like this scores. Getting the job done quickly with a decent amount of mana gen and a fair amount of damage. So, 1,810 Guild Wars points there. 
Domentina, the MVP, no doubt about that. And that was, so 9,633 points, so it does score pretty high. Not bad. And um, quick and easy as well. But there it is, there's the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful, helpful, any of that kind of stuff, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.